All right, welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Games and Things. Imagine a top-of-the-line leather recliner, a drink holder on one side, an attachment for your tablet on the other. You can sit there and let the game wash over you, track your bets, your fantasy roster, all lean back and comfortable. <laughs> Folks, from high-tech to classy and everything in between, get your home theater seats at Games and Things, ourgameroom.com to learn more, but get down there and see them. The corner of Kingston Pike and Lovell Road, because life should be fun, games and things. All right, we are back with the uh, all the media guys here, Bob, Josh, Jimmy, Chuck. We have our VFLs out there as well. Let's get a shot of the VFLs who are ready. ready. There they are. Hey. Will, Sterling, Daniel, all here. They've got their they've got their thumbs. Remember these from last year, guys? You get the if it's a yay, it's a green thumb. If it's a no, it's a red thumbs down. It's not hard to do the math on that one. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to throw out four numbers based on what Tennessee has done against FCS opponents since Josh Heupel has arrived here. They played UT Martin and crushed them. They played Tennessee Tech and crushed them. We'll look at those stats and kind of ask these questions based on that. They're going to give us the thumbs up, thumbs down, and then we'll grill them for it. But then you guys can jump in and have a little fun here too. If you, please, if you strongly disagree, have at it. And let me just say for the record, this will be much more entertaining when they're not playing Austin Peay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first one. Tennessee rushed for 202 yards versus Tennessee Tech. They rushed for 201 yards versus UT Martin, 201, 202. Will they rush for more than 202 versus Austin P? We got three yeses. They'll go for more than two. So the last two times, they were right at 200. So you guys are saying they're going over that against Austin P. They're going to handle the, the governors were seven and four last year. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Seven and four. Now, they did lose yesterday to Southern Illinois by 1,000 points. I think you should have changed the question. 200 yards in the first half. <laughs> okay, so everybody agrees they'll go for 200? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking 300. All right, very good. Well, you, so you think Austin P is far below UT Martin and Tennessee Tech? Or yes. you think the balls have just improved that much? I think they got a three headed monster running back. I think they got yards each. Yeah. be some bulletin board material. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very small bulletin board. All right, uh, next one. The Vols averaged three sacks in those games against those two foes, those FCS foes. Will they record more than three sacks against Austin P? Let's see what the VFL say. Yes, yes, and yes. There's no doubt from any of you guys? No. I think, I think overall you looked at the improvement of a couple players they've added, and it just looks like to me they're going to be more consistent. You know, a lot of times last year they won on games. This year you have one or two guys that can win one-on-ones. I just think that leads you to probably getting more sacks in a game like this. All right. Very good. Everybody agree with that? I'll do three or four sacks. No, I don't think they'll get it. I don't think Austin Peay will throw. <laughs> All right. Uh, number three, those two FCS schools threw for an average of 230 yards on UT. UT Martin threw for about 300 last year. So, will Austin P? shut up, Bob, throw <laughs> for 230 or more yards against the Vols? Let's see what the VFL say. Yes, they will. No, they won't. No, they won't. Willie Raincloud, I'll <laughs> come back to you. You said they will throw for 230. I mean, you pick up a lot of point, a lot of yards and garbage time every once in a while. So, I, mean, you know, yeah. I, think, I think overall, I think you're going to see some. They're going to try to get in a bunch of young players. Young players, you know, don't make the right calls. They make bust. I just think you're going to see some of that in this game as well. Do we feel better, the, do you guys feel better about uh, the secondary? I mean, last year and the year before, I think we would have said that anybody could throw for 230 yards on them. Do you feel better about, I don't know if the secondary's proven yet, but the pass rush looks pretty good, linebackers right. look pretty good. So do you, yeah. is part of the reason you would agree with this is the fact that Tennessee's better on I defense? I think they are think? better on defense. Uh, and I think the pass rush is a factor. I saw some defensive backs having some passes broken, broken up, yes. PBUs. Uh, but I actually think that, um, Austin people throw for more than 230 because Chuck said uh -huh. they were a fourth quarter team. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So they'll the get 180 team. in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Okay, so you, you disagree. All right, what, uh, what do you guys think? Think they'll throw for 230? Obviously, you don't. Yeah, I would still probably bet on some fourth quarter yardage, getting them over. You didn't? Okay, getting them over. All right, yeah. very good. You almost <laughs> cavalierist the question. Hey, maybe. I forgot there's no <laughs> running clock. <laughs> All right. Versus Tennessee Martin last year. Nine different players had at least one rushing attempt. Will the Vols go nine deep in ball carriers versus Austin P? Our VFL say yes, yes, no. All right, Daniel Hood, why will they not get to nine ball carriers? 
I don't know if we have nine running backs on the roster. <laughs> well, hey, here's the thing. This last, year, our... last year when they played uh, UT Martin, they played five quarterbacks. Five quarterbacks. Right. And each of those quarterbacks had a carry. Yeah. So, so, those count. Was so, that, so that was part of your ball carriers are your quarterbacks. It is. So does that change your answer? No, because I, I, I would assume that a carry is also a sack, right? Well, that would be, yeah. Yeah, I don't think well, they're going to give up any sacks this year okay. to that team. But right. they had Princeton <laughs> fan, though. Yeah. That's right. That would be another yeah. carry for it, tight end. There you go. Yeah, you could have all kinds of people carrying the football. Right. Maybe instead of Spraggins just pushing Milton into the end zone, maybe he just turns around yeah. and gives it to him. Refrigerator Perry style. All right. Very good. That is our will they or won't they segment. Uh, I promise it will be more interesting next week when we're preparing for Florida. <laughs> I can't do anything about the schedule. I've, I've been on Danny White. It's my only knock on him. But Austin P. All right, when we come back, what's the Cavaliers line say about Austin P? Oh, I forgot. Look here. This is the final result. 51% of you say that offense was great as always. 46%. That's a close vote for a 49.499-yard game. 46% said a bit worrisome. 3%. Not good enough. And as Bob pointed out, those are probably the Kentucky fans watching up in Bell County. All right. When we come back, we're going to do the Cavaliers line, and you can play too. Come on back.